The Murder Hawk monster, Lance Archer, running rough shot all over the American Dragon. Brian Danielson, he has been beating him, Tony Schiavone, from pillar to post. Pillar to post, Brian Danielson right now has no defense at all against Lance Archer. His only defense try to come up with some offense of his uh, own. Danielson showing that resilience, he's showing that hawk, but what a right hand by the big man. Oof. And Taz, the difference maker, was when Brian Danielson went for that tope. Uh, Archer intercepted him and choke slammed him on the apron. He sure did. But Danielson showing the fire. He's fighting back. Round kicks to chop down that giant redwood. Big chops. Those kicks to the leg, they were paying off. They were. For Danielson earlier in this match. But Brian. Wow, clearing over Archer's head. Archer. There's a Larry button Just a big body press by Lance Archer. It's like a 777 jet hitting you right across the chest. What a cross body. Yeah, and the fact he left his feet, I mean, he's just been really standing and chopping. Madison, you may have been thinking precisely me, but Lance Archer did not want to let it get that far. That's like a small building hitting you. Man. Oh, he's grabbing him by his nose. Yeah, I love that. Just grab the guy by his nose and you can't breathe. That. Yeah, you put your fingers in his nostrils. Oh, that's great. This is not ballet, and I don't want to offend anyone who does the ballet. I mean, there's some tough people who do it, but right now, this is brutality by the Myrtle Hawk monster. Yeah, Powerhouse Hobbs and Will Ospreay really set the tone in our opening contest, and now Lance Archer. I mean, he's just grinding this match to a halt and just beating down well, Let Brian me Dan say this right now. Right now, he's dictating the pace, and that's something that Danson normally does with his opponents. Yeah. He dictates the pace. Uh-uh, not against Lance Archer. Yeah, Archer roughing up Brian Danielson all throughout the picture-in-picture -picture break and just continuing a full-on assault here tonight. A little balance here of the six-foot-eight athlete. Oh, no! Oh! Danielson disrupting the balance, and I'm not sure how Archer landed. Was it? I think it was, his, I think it was his hamstring. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I was thinking, and it was on that left leg that Danielson was concentrating earlier on in this match. And Danielson, you can see, he's trying to get fired up right here, trying to get something cooking. Danielson drawing on the energy of this great crowd. Oh, and that oh. kick in the corner. Danielson catching Archer underneath the jaw. That'll cut on the side of the head. Danielson looking for a three. No, Archer. Pops him up into a bear hug, perhaps. No. The front guillotine right here. Oh, he lost it, though. Might be thinking on ball. No, he's looking to tr transition. It's an omoplata, maybe even at the label lock. That's it. Yeah, it is. He's grabbing Archer by the hair. Now he's got the hands clasped across the face. Look at Archer immediately. Oh, that hurts. And you have that height like that. You, can, you have a guy in a submission like this, but he has that height. It's, it's kind of almost, I don't want to say easy to tap him out, but it helps when he's got those long body. To tap out a guy like Lance Archer would be an amazing thing to do, I think. Yeah, but I'm telling you, his height is to a disadvantage when he's on the mat in right. a hold like this. Yeah, the it's, length, the reach of Archer. Right. All he needs to do is swing those hips over, get that foot on go. the bottom rope, and he does to force the break. Good call. Help. Good call, Coach. You were right on that one. Which coach? You don't, you don't want to have you take credit. It's fine with me. No, I want the credit. But I tell you, Lance Archer did the right thing. And Give the credit to Coach TK as this match continues. <laughs> Brian Danielson. It didn't work out the first time. Oh! The second time, though, he connects with the drop kick. And Brian Danielson leaping knee into the face of Lance Archer. Danielson riding a wave of momentum here, but he can't allow Archer to get back into this fight. Smart though right there by Brian Danielson to get Lance back in the ring. He knows he's got Lance rocked. He wants to get the W. It's Archer struggling to his feet. Danielson waiting for him. We don't know what's about to hit him, Archer. On the top rope. Danielson, he likes that drop kick off the top. Boom! Knocking Archer back. And that is a brutal shot. I've been hit with missing drop kicks like that off the top rope by people. Man, you can't explain the pain. No oh, brother. Oh. <laughs> you can see that one coming, man. And even, even somebody like... Lance Archer, such a broad chest. Those round kicks from Danielson. Oh, oh Archer. 
Maybe Archer was baiting him oh, in. Whoa! Oh, slam by Archer! That's it. Is he gonna take it? No! What a tight cover, too. Stacked. Brian Dancer right on back of his head and shoulders, but could not get the win. Archer ate all those kicks. He and did. He came up with this. Oh, you're right. What an impact in the back of the head. And Tony, that's where the power of Archer is such a difference maker. I mean, he, he changed the complexion of this match in just one fell swoop. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And now he's going for it all, guys. They could black out, perhaps. Absolutely. He's, he's going to try to end it right now. But instead, good counter right there by Danielson. Danielson driving down those elbow strikes. When you get when you pull your arms out to the side like that, you open yourself up for Danielson's hammer down anvil strikes. And being up on those ropes like that's a big advantage for leverage for Danielson. Oh, Archer climbs the ropes, delivers the knee strike, and Danielson draped over that top rope. Danielson may be going out. Did you see him blinking that time? It's he might have caught him on a button. He's going black out here. There it is. Archer bringing Danielson towards center. No, Danielson. Good job on that rear choke. Slips down. And Archer now carrying the weight of Brian Danielson on his back. And that's it. You put your cheek, your ear, your side of your face and to the back of the head of your opponent and wear him down with that choke. No need to move much, but good counter by the Murder Hawk Monster. Remember, I mean, Lance Archer, longtime member of Suzuki Goon alongside Minoru Suzuki. If there's anybody that knows how to defend a sleeper, it's going to be Minoru Suzuki. He's got to pass that on to Archer, but Danielson dropped. Archer to his knees with that Busaiku knee. Archer, I think, trying to clear the cobwebs. Here he goes again. Danielson has him lined up. Archer. Oh, the roundhouse connects. A second one. Right to the head. Archer absorbs three in a row to the head. Danielson. Back up. That's another knee. Can he get him? Danielson hooks the leg and gets the win. Here is your winner, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. What a no battle. Yeah, yeah, you notice three kicks in a row to the head of Archer, and he was still getting up. Yeah. No, oh, it's a knee that got him down, man. Well, that's right. He, he had to line him up, did Danielson, with those kicks, kicks, kicks. And the last one, what a battle right there, Excalibur. Two very hard-earned victories to kick us off tonight on Dynamite first, Will Ospreay. And now the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. And we are less than three weeks away from Dynasty. Live on pay-per-view, Chaffetz Arena, St. Louis, Missouri. AEWTIX.com for the first ever meeting between that man, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, and the aerial assassin, Will Ospreay. There you see Dynasty, Sunday, April 21st, Ospreay Danielson for the first time ever.